Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. My name's Danielle and this is Tango. And today I want to talk about the question, is a rabbit the right pet for you? Now I realize Tango isn't a rabbit, but he's kind of like my co-host. So, I don't know, put little bunny ears on him or something. So I kind of have 11 points and that could help you decide whether a rabbit will be a good pet for you or not. Number one is going to be are you ready for the commitment of a pet that lives around 10 years, maybe even a little bit longer? Are you going to be able to give that rabbit love and attention and dedication for those 10 years? You can't get a pet and then halfway throughout its life think, no, it's not right for you or you're bored of it. Think of where you're gonna be in 10 years. I know life, you know, happens. But kind of think, if you're in school and in 10 years time you're going to be at varsity or somewhere, are you going to move towns or cities or whatever? Are you going to be able to take your rabbit with? Tango's disappeared onto my back. We'll see if he comes back. Next, I want to talk about caging or housing or whatever you want to call it for your rabbit. We are now at the time where we know that pet stores don't sell cages big enough for rabbits. So when deciding on getting a rabbit, do you have a place in your house that is big enough to accommodate a very big playpen, which will be your pet's enclosure, if you will? When choosing that playpen that will house your rabbit, go for the biggest one that you can find. I know pet shops do sell some, and then you think you're buying a nice big playpen when actually the size it comes out to is not much bigger or the same size as those rabbit cages that they sell. When choosing a playpen size, think really big. So think maybe the size of your bed, you know, if you've got a lot of space, a nice double bed size kind of enclosure would be awesome. Or I guess a three quarter size would work too. I don't know, the bigger the better. You also do have the option of free roaming your rabbit. I do think that takes a bit of skill and I just, I can't imagine doing it. Biscuit loves chewing wires. So, you know, whatever you want to do, just go big. The next thing to consider is healthcare for your rabbit. So, do you know if there's a vet where you live that is rabbit savvy and you know, you're not just gonna take them there and they'll be like, oh, I don't really do rabbits and then you're kind of stuck if your rabbit is sick. You know, is there a place that you can go to and have someone who definitely knows a lot about rabbits and has experience with rabbits? The next thing you have to think about is the cost of owning a rabbit. So the actual rabbit that you purchase isn't gonna be that expensive. What is gonna be expensive, however, is this really big, nice playpen you're gonna buy and all the food that you're gonna to have to buy and toys and enrichment for them. Another thing to think about is vet bills. So the cost of spaying or neutering your rabbit, which I guess is your choice to do. Don't go have a male and female rabbit together because then they're just gonna breed and there's already a lot of rabbits who need a home and need to be adopted. Spaying or neutering your rabbit will also help with behavioral issues because they won't have a lot of hormones running through them all the time. But definitely speak to your vet about that option. Companionship. So don't go into the thought of you're only gonna get one rabbit. Rabbits do so much better when they're in pairs or a larger group, you know, but also just remember if you get more rabbits, you're gonna need more space. But also, yeah, just the cost of having to feed them and taking those multiple rabbits to the vet. Feeding. So your rabbit's diet is going to be about 85 to 90% hay. And this hay can be Timothy hay or oat hay. You also want to avoid lucerne. Lucerne is cheaper than Timothy hay and oat hay, where I live at least. But it is more fattening. That kind of hay is better for younger rabbits and nursing rabbits, that kind of thing. But it's very fattening, so don't give it to your... Also, you're gonna feed a little bit of pellets a day and you're not gonna do any of these muesli mixes because rabbits love to be selective feeders. In South Africa, you wanna get the Maltons 
bag of wrapper pellets. Those are really good and really not expensive at all. Or just whatever pellets you choose, make sure that the main ingredient isn't lucerne. I've seen how you get the cheaper pellets and then if you look at the ingredients, the main ingredient is lucerne and that's the same thing that applies with the hay. Lucerne is quite fattening and obesity is really easy to happen in rabbits. So just look, that Maltin's um, pellets that I've suggested, their main ingredient is oats. So that's definitely better. Neutering. So I've kind of touched on it earlier, but neutering or spaying your rabbit is definitely going to help with behavioral issues and you know rabbits can be kind of territorial at times. So you know neutering and spaying your rabbit is again like I said going to take away all those hormones and it also diminishes the chance of your rabbits getting a cancer like ovarian cancer or something like that because obviously if you remove that then it's not going to get cancer. Handling and by this I mean you need to be able to commit to spending time with your pet rabbit as much as possible. They are your pets, you know, you don't just shove them in a corner and they're not display animals. Sometimes rabbits aren't necessarily cuddly pets, you know, depending on their personality. So you might not get that cuddly rabbit that you want, but they do enjoy interaction nonetheless. Another thing to consider is what are you going to do with your rabbit when you want to go on holiday? Do you know of a friend or family member that would be experienced enough or trustworthy enough to look after your rabbits in the holidays? Is there a rabbit boarding place maybe where you live? Environment. So rabbits are really intelligent and you need to be able to provide them with lots of toys and lots of things to enrich them all the time because they need to keep their mind stimulated and acted otherwise they're gonna get bored and start chewing things that you don't want them to chew. And the last thing I have for you to consider is cleanliness. Rabbits pee and poo quite a lot and the pee can definitely stink if you don't change out their litter box often. That's another thing, rabbits can be litter box trained so that does make it easier for you. Are you willing to do a huge clean up of your rabbit's enclosure maybe once a week but you need to kind of do daily spot cleaning because you don't want your rabbit living in filth. So do you have the time and are you willing to do it? So those are my points that I think you should consider before you choose to get a pet rabbit. If you do decide to get a pet rabbit then great! Just please consider adopting a rabbit. There are so many rabbit rescues and people looking to rehome rabbits. Definitely do that instead of going to a pet store and buying their rabbits who, who probably come from like rabbit farms, you know, there's things that backyard breeders and all that. Yeah, go and rescue a beautiful little bunny. Also, I want to just say that I personally don't think that rabbits are good pets for young children because like I said rabbits aren't cuddly you know you may get some that have that personality that would want to kind of snuggle up next to you or something but generally they don't want to you know they'll enjoy your interaction they do they'll enjoy head rubs or you know that kind of thing but not necessarily that cuddle and also younger children don't tend to know how to hold the rabbit properly and then your rabbit can get seriously injured if your kid is holding it wrong and then their legs are kicking and then you know the rabbit can hurt their back and such things so I personally don't think that rabbits are a good option for families with young children also rabbits are not Easter pets you don't give them as Easter gifts you know pets are never gifts you know unless I don't know the person is like an expert in pet care then maybe and only if they wanted it but just <laughs> don't give rabbits as gifts because that's where a lot of this abandonment comes in you know the person didn't really want a rabbit and then they get bored with it after a while and they haven't made the decision themselves to commit to that 10 year lifespan so there are my points that you should consider before you get a rabbit I hope you can use this video to help make the decision for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!